So, uh, the Jimmy Deadman communion. What can I say? It's a, um, it's born of many latent drives in music and philosophy and literature and art. I think on a, on a very general level, it, it started off as, as something very amateur before it was Jimmy Deadman, of course. Um, it's just music. Music from the heart, music from the soul, music representative of my background and my understandings of the way the world is, the way the world works. Um, my hopes, my fears, a lot of that. And it wasn't until I broke through a, or broke past a certain threshold, the threshold of general everyday life, the work, the friends, the social networks, the family. It wasn't until I broke through that threshold that it became what is the Jimmy Deadman communion which is a philosophy, it's an idea, that's why it's a communion. Um, the dead man, of course, not, not having any major negative implications, it's, I think it's the philosophy of death and, and rebirth, and having to go to that point, push yourself to that level where things quite don't make sense anymore, that abyss, and then from there express the, the joy and celebration of life. That's what most of the songs are about. Um, the, band, the band came to be by finding out musicians or sourcing out musicians that I thought fit well in um, attitude-wise in particular, but also philosophically, ones that kind of understood the cause and well, of course we're happy to listen to the music and add their little artistic artistic interpretations into it. So yeah, that's that's pretty much where it's come from and, 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 and where it's going. <laughs> From the side of some old dirty road Drop it in a valley near a creek So uh, the, the Jimmy Deadman communion has been, has been gigging for, a, for about a year now with uh, various lineup, different musicians of course we've had our, our good and our bad, the ones we've gone along with and the ones we haven't. Uh, the gigging's been fantastic. It's, it's been one of the most enjoyable and one of the most I think uh, tricky aspects of, 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 of the communion. Um, it's one thing to write the songs and to play them and to learn them and rehearse them. To go out to perform them and have the same feel and the same comfort and the same command of the songs is, is, is not as easy as it seems. It's an art and skill in itself. And uh, I remember Leonard Cohen once saying that songs, songs don't come from an ether, they come from a lot of blood, sweat and tears. And uh, there's, there's a certain command that you need to get of them before you go out and perform them and make them feel like they do feel when you first write them at home or in the rehearsal studio. But back to the gigging, the, the gigging's been an interesting experience because it, it's not just about gigging, it's also about promotion. So Jimmy Deadman's had to take on the promotional aspect of, of the band and the music. Um, and that includes things which I probably would have never touched upon before, for example, on social networking sites. Um, I'm, I'm a firm believer in the very traditional promotion of posters and radio programs and, and TV stuff like this. But it seems like social networks are more and more important to help to get the word out there. So we, we are on board, there are, there are MySpace sites and there are, there are Facebook sites and there's even a, a newly born Twitter rambling by Jimmy Deadman, if anyone's ever interested. Uh, but that's the way we learn to get our gigs out. And, and, and get a fan base and get people on board. So we've played it at a lot of places throughout Melbourne. And there is, there is one up and coming gig, which is probably our biggest so far, um, based on, on, on a project that I thought would be a, a good endeavor in getting a number of local outfits together. It's called the Doghouse Music Roadshow. 
and it's at the Caravan Music Club on Saturday the 13th of August starting at 8. It has us and features the likes of Burning Hell, Rob Jones and the Melancholics Anonymous and also a great solo artist called Cisco Rose. It's got that uh, very country outlaw feel, it's a bit of whiskey soaked brooding, a bit of wild battering of instruments, um, tries to bring out our primal our primal instincts after we've come to our true metaph metaphysical understanding. So um, if anyone's free on that night, come along. Mm -hmm.